Welcome back to Switch Corner. It's time for our weekly look at 10 deals under $10 or, of course, your local currency. Here we take a look at the eShops covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. Last week then I also had two copies of Green Hell 2 giveaway thanks to the folks over at Forever Entertainment. I'm going to be announcing the winners to that as we go through today's list. Forever Entertainment, though, they did give me another two codes, so I'm going to be doing that exact same giveaway this week. All you need to do to enter, drop a comment down below, and winners, they'll be announced in next week's episode. So with that luck, hit subscribe if you love the Switch, as much as we all do here, join our growing family, and let's get started. So first up today I've got one for the beat em up fans out there, Wolverblade, it's rocking 90% off, marking a new all time low for the title and what a game this is. In fact I actually featured this one in my gem series and with good reason. This one it just skips over the idea of like a Streets of Rage formula, you know like gangs and stuff like that, for more swords and shields and it's great to see and in a way it kind of reminded me of like Golden Axe but without like all the fantasy. Here you'll be helping Britannia defeat the Romans and while it's not heavy on story it still does a decent job on the delivery over the eight included levels. Throw in then multiple characters and weapons, local co-op play, stunning hand-drawn visuals and then just a ton of like gore and dismemberment galore and yes we definitely have a winner. It's a beat em up so it's not the longest of experiences but I will say it's tough as nails. If you like a solid throwback though this is the way to go this week and I will say as well we don't see this one on sale often. So Halloween is upon us and one I don't see mentioned near enough is Welcome to Hanwell. This one you'll find yourself in London and what was once you know a safe haven, a peaceful home has slowly now devolved into a cesspit of let's say less than savoury characters and even monsters. This first person exploration title though this one's for fans of games like Layers of Fear where it takes the control really out of your hands and suggests you run instead of fight. High on the tension scale though this one it for sure got under my skin and for the most part I I thought it looked really good on the Switch, especially handheld. For me, I gotta say as well, I just found the location interesting from parks to stores to government buildings to a good old fashioned English pub. Something I honestly severely miss. Not quite the same though, when a monster is lurking in the shadows to disturb your pint. This is another all time low and rarely do we see this one drop on sale. Alright so let's lighten the mood ukulele and while I do think the 2D sequel is a huge step up from this one, this is still a very like good game, just a very different type of experience, it's basing itself around the 3D classics, so think like Mario 64 and then Banjo and Kasui. Here though you'll be out to take down like Nemesis capital B as he is out to absorb the world's bucks. It's the usual nonsense for the genre but the mechanics are solid and if you like a more traditional 3D platformer this will be a solid choice. It comes with the usual problems, you know, and at times problematic camera, some awkward platform moments. But all in all, these are two great characters that have a stunning and vibrant world to explore. It also has a whole lot of like add-on games too, think like local multiplayer mini games in an arcade. Here though, you're getting a huge discount. It's the first time I've ever been able to add it to that sub $10 video. So while we are talking local multiplayer, Overcooked Special Edition, it dropped to a new all-time low. We see this on sale nearly like monthly at this point, but I will always take a new all-time low. And while it does have the sequel out there now, this is so budget, it may just be the perfect way for you to test it out and see if this is a formula that you know appeals to you. It can be played single player as well with bots, but I'm not sure I'd really honestly recommend it. The fun here is in the banter you and your friends and family will have as you just kind of like gather Around your switch. The idea here though is you and your friends you get together, you're working together to prepare dishes, collecting ingredients and manning food stations but as you go it just kind of gets like weirder and weirder. There's like a cast of chefs though here to unlock locations to work like even a pirate ship on the seas and yeah it has a fair few challenges just for you to face off against. I think this is worth an add to the library, the sequel's great too but it's not such a huge like leap that you're missing out on too much by starting here. With up to four players then you can have a great if stressful time with this one. N64 fan Star Wars Episode 1 Racer has dropped and I adore this game. I reviewed the Switch build over on the channel and yeah, it was pretty much just how I remembered it. It took a great scene from a bad film and made something seriously impressive. Choose your character and pod though and work your way through well, basically multiple championships over multiple planets. While the visuals they for sure now show their age, at points the gameplay is still just super smooth and I gotta say impressively fast. This Switch build then it even adds 
the emotion controls for those that are fans of a little, you know, extra immersion. 25 races though, 8 worlds and plenty of options to upgrade your pod make this one I keep on returning to. Sadly though, I will say it as a warning, there's no like online play here, it's local multiplayer only. I think it would have been a great inclusion, but sadly it's not the case. This has only been on sale once before though, and it's the first time under that $10 price point. So before we do get to the first winner of the week then, Devolver Digital, they're going big this week with the deals and it's worth looking at their entire library. Think the likes of like Stories Untold, Enter the Gungeon and The Messenger all back on sale, but I decided to choose just one today and that game is Ape Out. Don't feel like we see this one nearly as frequently on sale and it is just a Devolver digital masterpiece. Concept simple enough with very little story involved, honestly, you will take on the role of the title ape, you're locked in a cage at the beginning of the game, you escape, and now you must take down all the enemies around you by basically killing them. It's not particularly smart in concept, but it's incredible how good these controls feel. How good you feel when you grab one of your enemies and either use them as like a bullet shield or even use them to shoot their own friends. Most importantly though, with this one, it's the adrenaline spike it's going to give you. Great price with 50% off, and I'd also add here that the Jazz Infused soundtrack is one of the best on the Nintendo Switch. It's incredible, and then the graphics, just a standout in their simplicity. Not been on sale since May of this one, so if you do fancy it, now might be the time to jump in. So our first winner of the week then, and I can't work out the pronunciation on this handle, so yeah, CQNNE with a comment around Layers of Fear being so good, and I have to agree, be one of my top picks personally for the like Halloween season. In fact, it is still on sale right now on the eShop for another week, so maybe check it out at 80% off. Congrats though, drop me an email to claim your green hell code, or just jump into Discord and ping me there. We still have a second winner to announce later in the video, but remember then, we still have another two more green hell codes to give away this week just drop that comment below and winners they'll be announced next week all right so a quick one for you now ninjala story pack chapter one is rocking 90 percent off and this is another one i featured and reviewed over on the channel yes the multiplayer gameplay is like free to play but story not so much and i think this is a good price for fans of the game out there it basically gives you a little bit of background on these characters and almost like glorified tutorial for the gameplay and then plenty of just like bots and even a boss to take down it's not going to change your world or anything like that, but for less than a dollar, you can't really complain if you do like the characters, the universe, and the general kind of multiplayer like gameplay formula. All right, so Metroidvania fans, the Mummy Demastered is incredible, and no doubt the movie license name it's going to put folks off, and rightly so. The Tom Cruise movie it's based on, absolutely terrible. But this game, it's that rare example of it's actually really good. This one is pretty traditional stuff, a 2D world, weapons, power-ups, and a whole host of enemies to take down. But it does a solid job of providing just a unique vision and the world and the map design really impressive. I went in with probably understandably like low expectations and just walked away respecting what way forward like the folks behind Shantae had delivered and brought to the table here. We'll say it's a little on the shorter side than most Metroidvanias out there, but that does not take away from how good I thought it was. If you are a little concerned about the runtime though, just know there's a ton of collectibles in here to find for more like the completionists out there. Also expect some serious challenge and some epic boss moments. I wanted to mention this one this week though because Limited Run Games, they've just put out a physical version on sale right now. So this is for everyone out there that doesn't worry about owning physical and you can just enjoy this solid 50% off. So our second winner of the week then, GL commenting on Alder's Blood and how it might be their sort of game. Well, I don't know if you ended up picking it up, but I do have a copy of Greenhound with your name on it. All right, so the penultimate game of the week then, and this is actually my pickup of the week, meaning I haven't played it, so I can't necessarily recommend it. This is the Amnesia Collection. With this one though, I have actually played it before, just not on the Switch, and I've been waiting for a sale on it to add it to my collection. This is gonna be my personal Halloween game of choice this year. Amnesia is incredible though. It's a first person exploration experience that really just kind of like kickstarted the, the general idea. This collection though, it brings together three titles, we got the Dark Descent and Machine for Pigs and then also Justine. Hopefully this port is solid and I can have some good handheld like time up with this one over this next few days. And you really can't knock the 80% discount as well, marking the lowest price ever. All right, so our final game is actually two games because I'm gonna be putting them together. Halloween is here. You probably noticed like a decent chunk of horror on today's list, but the best I've experienced on the Switch, it's got 
to be Outlast 1 and of course Outlast 2. Both of these are coming in with 75% off and this is super cheap for two incredible experiences. And the port work here is just another level. On the Switch they honestly look stunning and I reviewed both of them over on the channel. In the first you'll find yourself as an investigative journalist heading to an abandoned mental asylum. And in the sequel it goes a little bit more open world with cults and or like levels of craziness. If I was choosing just one I would personally lean towards the first. I prefer the more like claustrophobic nature of it but you really can't go wrong with either here at this price. Just be warned this one is seriously creepy and the heart rate will for sure be up there. And that is it another week down will you be adding anything to the library this week or are you just kind of like taking a break giving that you know bank account a little bit of a rest don't blame you if you are. With that though like a shout out to the patrons of the channel who are just going above and beyond to support Switch Corner helps more than you know so thank you all so much. If you do want to check that out for yourself I have linked it in the video description down below. Then hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.